Hey everyone, Keith Locke here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Amazon S3 integration add-on for WPE Store so that you can store your digital downloads uh, within the Amazon S3 servers and they can be served and downloaded from there when your customers make their purchases. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that the server that you're running this on has at least version 5.5 PHP and is running the open SSL PHP extension. You can check your server, uh, your host, to see if that's the case. But in general, most modern servers these days are up to speed with this version of PHP and have this extension installed. And of course, you're going to need WPE Store installed as well before you move on. And you're going to need access to the forum in, in order to get this free add-on and then it, you can find it in the download area. I have it on my desktop right now so we're going to go ahead and install that right now. So in the WordPress dashboard here like you can see I got WPE Store already installed which is a requirement in order to get this add-on working. So I'm going to click on Add New and I'm just going to upload it from my desktop. So what this does is creates a new section in WPE Store under Settings. Under Add-on Settings. And then we're going to look for uh, Amazon S3 within here. There it is. So this is the information that we have to fill in. We'll do that right now. Okay, in order to get these values here, we need to log into the Amazon Web Services. Now you can create a new account here, it's free. Otherwise, just log into your existing account. Just hover over my account and click on AWS Management Console. And then go ahead and log in. Once logged in, hover over your name, click on the drop down arrow, and then click on My Security Credentials. If this pop-up shows up, just click on Continue to Security Credentials. From the options here, choose Access Keys. At any given time, you're only allowed to have two access keys that are either active or inactive. So if you have more than, if you have two currently, you won't be able to create any new access keys. So you're going to need to delete one, um, preferably an inactive set of keys before you can continue and just click on Create New Access Key. And then there will be an indication that it has been created successfully. Since you won't be able to see these access keys again in the future, you're only allowed to see them one time. You may want to download them to your computer or you can just grab them here and then input them into the system. I'm going to delete my keys after the video so I don't mind showing anybody, but in general you want to keep these um, secret. In particular, this key. That secret. So, what you do is copy them over right into the store settings here. So, that's the access key ID. Paste right in here. And go back here. And I'm going to pass, paste in the secret access key here. Again, in general, you don't want to share this information. You certainly don't Put it in the video, but I'm going to be deleting these after this demonstration. Anyway. Okay, so once they're in place, you scroll down to the bottom, click on update. All right, from the services menu, I chose S3, and then I'm going to create a new bucket here. Which, is, which keeps the file private. 
that's uploaded, click on the file, and what we want is the URL that shows up here. So you can just copy that, copy link address, or you can just highlight the thing. Go ahead and click. Now back in WPE Store, we're going to edit an existing product and then just paste in the URL in the digital product URL section. Then scroll down and just click the Save button. Now a quick way to test to see if the encrypted download link works, we just go over to under WPE Store here and click on Admin Functions and put in the product ID. Test. Click generate link. Bring this link here. And then we can paste that in the new browser window. And then it gives us access to the yeah, download file with our with the encrypted link. That's all there is to it. Uh, again, this is Keep Block Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching.